Hey guys and welcome back to Roblox Expert Scripting Tutorials. I've had a suggestion about saving players purchases. The comment was on a video about data store, uh, however that video is deleted right now. But well after months of waiting I am making this one. And the reason why I delayed this uh, is because this is a little bit more for the expert series. So without further ado, let's begin. First, uh, you would want to have a script from tutorial number 6 and paste it in your server script service. You can call it however you want, mine is called save. As you can see, it's literally uh, what you pasted in. Now I'm gonna show you how you would use it with your game. If you are wondering if that is my FPS counter that I previously made in a tutorial, and uh, I upgraded it a little bit. I made those values a little bit more accurate by averaging the numbers I get. As you can see, uh, I just make variables, add them, and divide by 5. And now let's get to the saving script. One of the ways how to save player's purchases are with bool values. So first what you wanna do is put a folder, either in a starter GUI or in a starter pack. You can name it purchases, then add a value and name it whatever you want. Now let's explain how it works. When you buy something, the value should change to true. And in the other script, uh, it should uh, load the value, whether it was true or false. And then uh, when I create the exact same value, it should just uh, change it. And if the ancient value is true, then we should give a player a sword, a weapon, uh, a perk, well, anything that you can imagine. Also, let's not forget that you can make more data stores by just changing their names. So, for example, one can be for player's money, experience, and the other one could be for player's purchases. Of course, we also need to publish our place. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. Everything about publishing plays to Roblox I've already explained in skill scripting tutorial number 6. I made letter T a lowercase uh, just in case it would uh, uh, intersect with previous data stores that I made. First we want to remove this. When player enters the game we want purchases folder to be in the player GUI. And then let's make a for loop. Also, I'm writing player GUI because in the uh, players, the service players, it's called player GUI, not starter GUI. And now let's make a table and call it to save. And then we are going to write a function called table.insert. In the brackets, you want to write to save i v dot value and that's because we want uh, the value of it not the location all right now we obviously want to have a bool value of a sword and then uh, uh, you should keep in mind that uh, this won't necessarily work if you have a lot of items like uh, hundreds or something uh, this probably gonna work only for uh, five or something like that. I'm not going to show you how to uh, make so it would give you something, but uh, you just need to write an if statement. If it is true, the value, script should give a player a perk, sword or uh, something that you make. Just to verify that it works with multiple values, I'm going to create another one. And then we just simply write a couple more lines, uh, just to load them. So the X and then bool value, we put it into purchases, then x.value equals to save and then do. Also, there might be an easier way to do all of this. I just didn't figure that out. One thing I forgot is to name the values. One important thing to mention, 
Uh, now, if I try to test this, uh, it will throw an error because I don't have any loaded data. But now, let's just copy this part and then place it into load data function. We also need to remove couple locals because we will be referring these variables uh, in the uh, other functions. Alright, after quite a while, I've changed a lot of things. So let me explain. We save values that are in the to save table. Let's get uh, to the load data function. Alright, so we have a for loop which is much shorter, much smaller, and it's uh, it's gonna pile up if you put a lot of values inside. So it's still not perfect. Alright, there is something interesting. In this line we save a table inside the table. Alright, I've also left a couple uh, print functions just in case you want to know whether your script works or not. You can obviously um, change those values via other scripts. When for example player pays money, you will change the value to true. Also, also, this might be a problem with security because it's in client and the server might save those values. You might be able to solve this problem by putting values in the server and then uh, uh, somehow uh, copying them to the player and then uh, trying to verify whether those values are correct and not changed by a uh, client or something like that, you can figure it out. I've had to change places of those uh, variables um, because uh, uh, Roblox uh, Explorer sorting kind of messed up and now um, it uh, just uh, put the values in a different order so uh, this is another thing that you should be aware of and with that I'll see you next time goodbye